Alright, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for the previous comments. Thank you for the, the questions and uh, I hope that we can be able to move with our plugin going ahead. And uh, right now I'm having a bit of an eyesore having all this information coming in. I can't see my menus and options right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a custom page so that we can be able to handle all our information right there so that we can be able to set uh, all our settings that we need. Um, remember that we're going to be making a plugin that sends information once the order process is done in WooCommerce. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a, a menu page uh, that is part of the functionality that WordPress gives to us. And then afterwards I'll use what we call the settings API. And basically what this is in, in itself is an inbuilt um, API that you can tap into to make uh, settings like this that you can store in your database and you can be able to retrieve and use as you will to do and depending on your functionality you can be able to just use that functionality that WordPress gives you. So let's dive right into that. I'm going to open up um, where we had stopped off on our plugin and what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm just going to comment out this adding it. That, uh, this function will still be here, but it won't be called. And if we reload our, our page here, we're going to get all our functionality back in here. And I think we are good to go. So first things first, is we're going to add a new menu page. And you, you realize that this particular add menu page functionality of WordPress has a number of, uh, of uh, <clears throat> a number of arguments that's, that are needed in the page title, the menu title, the capabilities, a slug, and what is going to happen when this page is, uh, when this particular function is called. And then you can have an icon that sits right on the side. So most of these I explained right here, the parameters I explained for that particular action and then you have an example of how this can be used. Now if you look at WordPress in itself you have a number of things going on here. You have the post, the media, you have users, tools and settings and these have positions according to these numbers that you do see here. So I want us to have um, our page, it's going to happen right after settings so I'm going to look for a number that is in between 80 and 99 so that we can just place that there, uh, our page there. And we're given an example of how this can actually be run. And so I'm just going to copy and paste this in our, in our plugin. And then we can be able to, to start um, doing a number of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just edit this and say, this is our SMS plugin settings. Uh, we just call this SMS plugin because that's our title. And if you look at what these marks are, are they just allow to allow us to have this translated. Um, for example, we have a text domain here. We did not uh, give this setting in, in in our plugin as we were starting it up. But this allows us to translate uh, our plugin in a number of languages. So we're going to have this uh, call as SMS plugin settings. This is going to appear here in our page. You will be able to see it. Manage options is our capabilities. And this is only going to happen when someone had been, has administrative rights. So that's what this is saying. And the next thing that we are going to do is um, if we look at what we were required of in the settings here is we had the page title, the menu title, the capabilities, we had a slug, and then we have a function that, 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 that is supposed to be called. Then we have the icon and then the position. So if we look at this, remember we talked about having something that's in between 80 and 99. Um, for the icon, we're, not, we're going to use our, our dash icons. These are also inbuilt font icons that are part of WordPress. So all you need to do is you go to Google and uh, Google for 
dash icons and I have this already embedded in my history. So we are spoiled for choice um, uh, for the icon that we we'll use. And I think uh, for now I'm going to go with something like um, something that looks more messagey in, in type. So I'm just going to go with this and we have, we just need to copy only this text that we do have. And when we throw it in our, in our plugin here, we're going to have dash, the dash icon testimonial. And if we look at uh, the only thing that's left is having a function that is going to be called uh, for us. So the function that we're going to have is going to be called uh, create menu page. And that will be our function. So what I'm going to do quickly here is create this function that does nothing. So, so Um, this is our menu page title. This is our page title uh, that we're going, and then we have, we're just going to try to change this slug and call it a SMS plugin uh, as a the PHP. So when we save this and come to our page and um, just reload, we're going to see something that's happening here. So Remember our little SMS plugin, we have it right here. And on top of our, if we click on it, we're actually going to have this showing up. We have a fresh and clean page that we can use here. And then uh, we have a very nice icon showing up here from our dash icons, which looks similar to all of these. So I think we are good to go from here. So let me just try to calling this particular function in here instead of our create menu page. Let me replace this functionality and see what's going to happen. So if I reload, we call our API and voila, we're able to see our information and everything is nice and neat and clean. Good job. Uh, we'll be able to move on from here. Thank you for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do love it. And you can ask a number of questions. Maybe you can point out where, what direction this particular um, tutorial or plugin series should go. Thank you. Bye.